in a studio that's in a basement comes the epic story of how two friends changed the future of the movie podcast game forever. The reviews are in. Boys Life Magazine gives the High Psy Podcast four and a half acorns. The Daily Bugle says, these guys are super legit. And Pope Francis declares the podcast as life affirming. From the kid who tried to get smart with David Spade and got fucking old. You're still out. You're still back. And the guy who can name all four Baldwin brothers. Alec, William, Daniel, and the baby boy, Stephen. Live from the studio of his parents' basement. The Have You Seen It Podcast. Welcome back to the Have You Seen It Podcast. My name is Mason Knight, and sitting across me is the one and only Cash Krause. The one and only. I like that NASA hat. Thank you. Yeah. I've had it for a while. I've have worn you? it a few months on this uh, podcast. Pretty nice. Thank you. Pretty nice. Well, I have NASA in my mind now that they just launched, they just launched a uh, the first... new uh, missile. <laughs> I don't think the astronauts would appreciate. I don't think the astronauts would appreciate you calling it a missile. missile yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the first it's a uh, little uh, a welcoming to Russia. It's like, hey, Russia, a missile. We're sending four guys your way. Yeah, they're your gonna way. Have a rough landing. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna. They're coming in hot. <laughs> they're coming in real hot. You know, don't think they'll yeah. uh, stick the landing. But uh, yeah, the first ever was a commercial manned to uh, the International Space Station. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You're always watching those. See if that thing's going to fucking blow. Well, it blow it blows my mind that they have the they're able to to land. Yeah, they they, they, get, they did one that was successful to be able to is, launch yeah. and to come back and land. That's yeah, wild. they all do that now. Thank yeah, God. That's some futuristic it's, shit. Well, yeah, I mean, but it's yeah, it's the I next mean, logical sense. step. Yeah. <laughs> they were wasting so much fucking uh, material there. Fuck well, it. most of it just fell into the ocean, yeah, it did, so yeah. there's so much wasted material. And the, also, you couldn't if something went wrong, you couldn't figure out what went wrong because right. everything was everything exploding. So now, when things go wrong, you can get it back, figure that out. But uh, yeah. Get your asses to Mars. For real. Fucking Elon Musk. At least Musk. before our time's over. That'd be cool. God, that'd be awesome. That'd be pretty we, awesome. Yeah. We got nothing like that in our generation. No, we don't. No big moment like that. No big triumph. We have tragedies. We do. We have a lot of tragedies. We have a lot of tragedies. <laughs> our generation is marked by tragedy. Yeah, but, uh, unfortunately. But we're not here. Um, to talk about tragedy. Or no. are we? <laughs> Maybe because it that's does a good touch teaser. on a yeah, no, that's a good teaser. Yes. So let's. Uh, we're here to talk about our. This is our India cinema. Yes, our Namaste Wednesday. Yeah. and we are. Rev- oh, with. you're right. I forgot. Namaste Wednesday. Namaste Wednesday. So we are. Uh, we are namasteing uh, <laughs> and reviewing uh, Bavash Joshi superhero today. Yes, we are. But. We got to talk about what's going on in our poll and replacing yes. Joshi superhero. So we have Ghoul. On our on our pool, we have cargo and we have oligar. Yep. And so we're adding this week uh, based on popular request popular in the comment section. Yes. Yeah, and it is a lot of demanding. Uh, Not we have very some nice. Threats no. In our comments <laughs> these threats. days, uh, if you've been paying attention, go watch our master trailer reaction. Please uh, go. Watch please go reaction. watch that and uh, be please sure to leave your most hateful comment. hateful comments on. We that. are all looking, and the Man. most hateful will win a, a, a prize. prize. Yeah, we'll just send you some. Just merch. most. Yeah, <laughs> we'll send you something nice because <laughs> obviously your life is not going super so well, well if you're writing. <laughs> Just paragraphs of, uh, of death uh, just, threats. Yeah, they're not happy. Yeah, uh, no, they're not. But nonetheless, but we, we have, love it. We do we love, love it. the we passion. We love the comments. We love the passion. Uh, keep it up. Comment away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we have uh, Cargo, Ghoul, Aligar, and now for the fourth one that we're adding is Ludo. Ludo, 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 Ludo. Ankash Tripathi. Of course. I think he's in every single one of our films that I is on the poll at this think point. So. <laughs> Yeah, he does like to do quite a bit. What what is this one? This that's a a comedy, isn't it? No, that's the action one. Remember, like the board game Ludo, where it's like it's like red, blue, right, yellow, and right, green. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. that's one hundred percent gonna win. You know, I think it will too because I heard a lot of good things about it. Yeah, a I lot think of and that's, it's new, it. isn't it? Um, yes, it is new. It just dropped on Netflix. Uh, twenty twenty, I'm pretty sure. November twelfth. So that is fresh. Check your calendar, folks. Yeah. That was just a few days ago. That one's going to win, I got a feeling. Yeah, I have a feeling, too. Uh, yeah, it stars Raj Kumar, uh, Ryo as well, Pankaj, Tripathi. A lot of big names. Uh, 
Rohit, Sharaf, Saraf. Yeah, I thought that was the one that would look kind of funny. Then it doesn't uh, Raya have like a mullet in it or something? Yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking yep. forward to that. Well, yeah, it's definitely like a comedy action film. That's sure. what I thought, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, well, uh, that is the four on there, so make sure you go and vote for whatever one you want us to see re- review. Yes. But, uh, yeah, is there anything else on that? I think that, I think that about does it. All right. That poll will be ob- uh, available right after this video. Immediately. So. Immediately. So get in there and... and uh, vote away. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So enough of that. Let's get into our review of bavash joshi superhero that was it was on our poll for a while it was longer than i thought yeah same but this film is kind of weird because the trailer it's one of the rare trailers that we've seen where the trailer looked awesome yeah <laughs> well and that's what blew our mind is like you yeah know, india I- indian cinema did they don't have that many superhero films no and especially the not that many grounded i yeah. mean we watched and this is a more of a vigilante film right i would say is. than a superhero yeah. film absolutely but it is ba- it does have elements of superhero i mean he was writing a comic book yeah you know oh absolutely uh, for yeah. this character and stuff but you are right more of a v- volan- uh, vigilante vigilante absolutely um you know, we India has very rare superhero movies like that 2.0 that we weren't a big fan of, that trailer. Yes. That looked a little well, ridiculous. 2.0 and the first one. And the whatever <laughs> the first one was, yeah. Yeah. But it uh, didn't look like that. This looked was like very that. grounded. This was produced by Anurag Kashyap as well. Yeah, and co written, right? I think him mm-hmm. and the other guy wrote yep. the script also. Yeah, it's Phantom Films. Yep. The no longer. Now studio. it's good bad. Films. Now it's good bad films, right? I was trying to think of the name. Yeah, the the, the now defunct <laughs> Phantom, Phantom films. films. They may have been going through some controversy at the time. They did. Me have. too. Might have hit them. <laughs> <laughs> well, me too. Hit them hard. Me too. Hit them hard yes. for sure. But uh, yeah, it's, so that kind of surprised me at I guess um, how much I like this film. I was going into this thinking I was going to like it a lot. I had high mm-hmm. expectations for me, even though a lot of people said, commented and said, not very good. <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> that's did. What, yeah. That's what really surprised me. And uh, yeah, I got I got in my opinion, I think they were kind of right on it. I think it did not meet my expectations. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I felt it was, and I feel like I'm a broken record at this point, but the length of the film really fucking hurt this movie for me two hours and 40 minutes and you don't even get him in his superhero fucking outfit like the main one you see throughout the entire trailer yeah until the last 40 minutes right which is fucking insane for a superhero film or anything that i get it's an origin story but the way that they that you do origin stories you almost kind of you start out showing them like where they are now and then they kind of you got to backtrack and be like right. oh this is how I got here yeah. and then you show the origin story but yeah way too long and it also kind of tried to be like a political drama too mm-hmm. for a lot of the parts but I just thought it was way way too slow the fight the choreography was it was probably the best fight choreography we've seen in an Indian film. Very grounded and realistic, but I thought yeah. it was way way too that, the pacing killed me. Really? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Well let's see, I have a little bit different in and I do think it went a little too long. I think you could have shortened this up to two hours. That I will give you and I so I little action with, in this. So but, little action. So little action, but it did deal with I a, a lot, you know. I mean, like, with the whole YouTube channel and, like, starting it. And then, you know, society, you know, they get a job after college yep. and they kind of fall All off. That. I like the build up to the point where um, Siku, or not, uh, Bavesh yes. dies. I like that build up because then it really gave his friend that. the motivation to come in and actually finish, you know, uh, yeah. what they started. I like that, too. That should have been done in 20 minutes. No, mm. not an hour so long. In a, in as a first soon, act. oh my god, yeah, <laughs> this is a film that this is a film that it kind of does the reverse, which is why I thought uh, earlier I kind of said there I had a confusing, conflicting kind of emotions about this because this is a film where the third act is by far the best act. Yeah, which is mm. kind of weird because usually it's the the third act that almost always suffers in anything superhero film or any movie at all. But this one, the third act, the last forty minutes is is what you wanted, at least for me, throughout the entire thing. But yeah, I liked I liked that kind of twist that uh, Bavesh Joshi was the one that died, but that happens at an hour, 
as soon as it happened, yeah, it I, I knew it was entirely too long, and I paused it to make sure, and it happens almost at the exact hour mark. Should have happened 20 minutes. Right. 20 minutes would have been enough to th- get us th- feeling like this guy is going to be our main character because you don't meet CQ. You don't meet him until after an hour. We don't really get to know him until after an hour. Then yeah. it becomes his story. Mm-hmm. So just entirely too long for that. I mean, when I thought that edit, were, edit, edit, yeah, you I pay did. an editor. I know. Pay, I got a feeling editing is the easiest fucking job in India. They're not doing anything. <laughs> well, I feel I feel like they dropped the ball on a few things too, like his relationship with his like fiance. They threw it in one scene, and then it was like just completely irrelevant. For the yeah, that, yeah. That was one where I was like, so you could have done so remember. much more with that. I mean, you could have done the whole, you know, uh, they go and kidnap her, threaten to kill her. Yeah. And they kind of just glanced over those things that I think would have brought a lot more drama and a lot more uh, intensity, Yeah, you know, to the overall story. And but, uh, another thing is I thought the entire, I get that it's a real, a real problem and whatnot, but just the entire bad guy, I felt, wasn't that bad, <laughs> you know? I mean, he was he was siphoning water and stuff. But, I mean, as far as what we're used to with, like, superhero films and whatnot, usually the bad guy is a very, very bad guy. I disagree with that. Like, I trying liked, to end the world. Right, but I liked that element because I like the fact that they're just average Joes just working, you know, through corruption in their neighborhoods. I didn't need an elaborate like villain that was trying to destroy the world. Yeah. But at, at this point you got to think the best, <clears throat> the best thing for this is to go through the courts <laughs> and try to get them to stop the water siphoning. Yeah, but you got to prove it. I know, but they had, they, they went to the fucking, the pump many times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. they could have showed anyone that pump. And they also, they had, they showed that the pipes were split off or they whatever, were right? Off, yeah. And they were, they were, cause they were siphoning mm-hmm. water. Yeah. So, which I think that's there was what a he ton was. of evidence, right? And I think he was trying to bring that to to light. Yeah, but he know, just got the fish. shit beat out of him a bunch. Well, right, you know, and they they would always manipulate his footage to make it look like he was the bad guy, even up to a point of murdering a police officer. Well, sometimes, sometimes it was his friend yeah. <laughs> Siskiyou that made him look like the bad guy when uh we you know when they got in the big fight you mm-hmm. know and he he videotaped them. We got a little bit of that sweet, sweet mob justice that we're so used to seeing and from Indian films. You know, I feel like if we went over there and we said something bad about <laughs> Vijay, we might get a swift mob I liked, justice. I like that there scene where few... they're just like, let him go. And they just beat the <laughs> shit. And even when you remember the news agency yeah. is like starting to get in, them, in there trying to videotape it and they're trying to like commentate on him when he's getting the <laughs> shit beat out of him. They're like, oh, there's a left, there's yeah. a hook, there's a uh, kick right to the face. They just drug him out of the fucking, uh, and beat him up. That's what, that's what we are, are, have grown to see. And also, I thought, very slow is the main guy doesn't even start training until the last 50 minutes. Yeah. And it's two, just, I thought the, the pacing for a vigilance here was so off, and I get you, know, maybe even you of course, you can always do it in a different way and whatnot, but I just don't. I don't think it's the way. You know, I think for a vigilante film, it's got to be, you know, those fucking fight scenes interlaced between dramatic scenes. But mm-hmm. we don't get real fight scenes until, again, the third act. Right. So I mean, it's that was the thing I had a problem odd. with too is the way the co- or the way the uh, sensei or whatever showed up. You know, just out of nowhere, beat the shit out the of the sensei guys. was fucking awesome. No, though. he was awesome, and the choreography. Yeah, but was why was he but, following him? What, yeah, what at what point <laughs> was he like? Because that's not just e- randomly showed up, and that's not even his student. His student was Bavash Joshi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so he never even met that guy. Never. But uh, well, no, he came. Oh, in they one came in the time class the one time. Yeah, but then he's like, I'm gonna start following this guy mm-hmm. and just see what happens. Just see what he see what this guy's up to. And not even that. Didn't everyone think that that guy left for the United States? Yes. So the sensei is like, yeah. So he just knew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just He's got, got like, like this underground link of, of, yeah. He seemed pretty out of it, but uh, he was a badass. He was. I, and that's the thing when I saw him, I'm like, well, why the fuck is the, this movie not about him? This guy, yeah. <laughs> about the, the, the sensei being pissed off and yeah. being the vigilante. Yeah. yeah. That would be a much better story. And that guy, you know, you don't have to go through the. The training montage and whatnot. Because <laughs> yeah. let's be honest, Starting how, there. what does it take him two nights to train? To train to become an elite combat fighter? Because it's not like he was wait, and it's not like no. the bad guys were waiting for him to like for months for them to like make <laughs> yeah. their next move and waiting for this guy to get the proper training to be. So he trained maybe for two nights. Yeah. 
And then he's this fucking, he's this badass. There's one scene, though, that made me laugh out loud because it was so stupid, I thought. And that's the scene of the the fucking, uh, the scene when he's going to plant the thing in the, you know, the dance club. Mm-hmm. And then they chase him out of there. They, yep. they figure out, and he gets on his motorcycle, and there are all these guys are fucking chasing him, a million of them. And he waits for the stoplight. It's the dumbest thing but I've it's, it, it was a callback to Bavesh Joshi in that whole thing where they're not ever supposed to break the law. Yes. You're not supposed to run a red light. But, but you're vigilante. Again, you're vigilante and you're beating the shit out of people. Literally, the definition of vigilante is that you are breaking the law. Right. You're, you're, you're taking, taking justice, justice into, into your, your own, own hands. Do you think yeah. Batman would wait for a fucking red light? <laughs> no. And not only that, this guy, he was, getting, he was worried He's shitless that these guys were going to kill him. Yeah. He was, it's not like he was trying to get him to chase him. <laughs> and it was so funny because even the guys, like the bad guys, had the same reaction yeah, I they had. They were like, there. oh, he's waiting. <laughs> They're like, we'll roll out. And it's, it was just, I really did laugh out loud. I almost, because I almost thought, like, oh, maybe he has like a uh, a plan. Like he wants mm-hmm. these guys because he, he's going to like ambush him. Right. He's going to have like traps set up. No, like a Rambo. He was shitting himself. He was leaving a trail of piss. And then his fucking NOS NOS button wasn't work. Yeah. All because he couldn't run a red light. He can't get that ticket. No, he can't. He can't afford that ticket. It's insane. It is. I mean, he had no problem beating these guys to a fucking pulp. Right. (laughs) It's still against the law, right? It is. It's definitely against the law. I think even having NOS on your motorcycle is against the law. Uh, yeah, it is. So the, I don't know about India, but here it is. Yeah, he really nitpicked what laws he was okay with breaking. But well, that's what you do. Right? But a you simple justify. a simple traffic violation, he could not. That's where you draw the fucking he line. <laughs> <laughs> that's what separates us from the animals. Yes, is running fucking red lights. I I thought that was so. For and the entire film is is pretty grounded, you know. Mm-hmm. But just that, it's like, okay. That was one thing I did very much appreciate about this film is it never was I taken out of it where it was like, oh my God, okay, this can't... Because even the... even And this is... The choreography was actually really well done. I do want to highlight that. Yeah. Because there were so many times where I was like, oh my God, yeah, no, Bavesh is going to die here. He's going to get stabbed or whatever. And he does get stabbed. He does get beaten up. And there are so many times where I'm like, oh, he might actually die here. Yeah. When you see a uh, vigilante film and and you see, you know, people training in two days, normally they're just beating the shit out of everyone and they never really take any damage. This was always, to me, like he could die at any time. That's something I did appreciate with the court. And really, he just gets fucking lucky. (laughs) Multiple times. I mean, that's that's the biggest thing. There's a rope out there that he jumps down one time, falls down on his car. He gets shot. They just luckily, yeah, they just luckily Mm -hmm. didn't shoot him in the head. Right. You know, a chest wound. Yeah. It's about the flesh wound. It's, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. He's not the greatest vigilante. No, he's not. But, but I he's like a that. lucky. He's very, he's very lucky. lucky. Yeah. It's like a Indiana Jones. Yeah, but Indiana Jones never got shot. That's true. <laughs> or he stabbed. He did shoot someone, though. He does do a lot of shooting. He, does do a lot he of never shit. got that lucky, though. No. Never got, like, shot, and it was, like, a an inch away from his heart or whatever. Yeah. It was crazy how much this film uh, bombed at the box office, too. The budget for this film was 21 crore, and it only made 1.45 crore at the box office. Yeah, and I feel like my complaints are usually not complaints that the average Indian viewer usually has. So this is this it even has a, uh, a musical number. It does. That was a little off-putting for me. For a visual anti film. Not me. At this point, I'm pretty <laughs> you, fucking you used to that. You were already checked out. <laughs> well, I'm not checked out, but I mean... Uh, you got to get it in there. I, I get it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to throw it in somewhere at some point, you know. You got to get it in there. And, but uh, his his disguise was also kind of funny, too. He was clearly wearing a, a, a bald cap. cap. Yeah, I don't know how not too many people notice. But it, again, a club. People are drinking. It's dark. Yeah, but he uses the disguise multiple times. He does. He comes back. Yeah, he does with the bald cap. Was the more where I thought this side character might have a full and whole another <laughs> like uh, backstory. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. This is his alter ego. Is this? But uh, he really just looked like a pervert. Mm. The bald yeah, cap yeah. made him look very <laughs> creepy. But, uh, yeah, couldn't shave his head, huh? No. Could not shave his head no, for this. could not do it. <laughs> wasn't this the film, and I, I, at this point I really love talking about it, but wasn't this the film that had nepotism 
problems about it or something. Was it? Yeah, I, I could have sworn when we did the reaction. That's why a lot of people were so angry that we <laughs> was because the guy, because uh, I know his last name is Kapoor, so I don't know if uh, if he's related to one of the the famous Kapoor's, the many many Kapoor's. Yeah, I don't see any uh, any like. Um, I know there's no controversy. About no controversy. It. Usually there is, but uh, I could have sworn that's why some people were angry about the film and that's what also i have to think is why it didn't do so well so because I, I can't imagine the reason that more people did not go and at least attempt to watch this film because it, yeah. it did horrible it made one one almost one twentieth of its uh budget back that's yeah, insane that's awful that's got to be one of the biggest failures <laughs> that is crazy yeah. and this film is not i mean I definitely had, I mean, the pacing I thought was definitely slow, but I still don't think it's, it's the worst film. I don't think it's, I don't even think it's the worst film that we've reviewed for uh, our Indian cinema yeah. so far, but, and it has Honor Rock Kashyyyk, but I guess his films never do that great. They don't for whatever reason. Because Gangs of Watch Support did really bad, mm -hmm. didn't they? Yeah. But that is a five hour film. It is. <laughs> Between the two parts, it is actually closer to six hours <laughs> than five, which but is pretty astounding. Yeah. It's it's a lot. It is. It's a lot. He just uh there there's a new trailer out that dropped a couple months ago about his film Choked, which we'll have to react to. Oh, really? We though. haven't seen anything about Honorog in, in a, a long while. time. Yeah. And uh I'm missing him, but this is definitely not his best work. I mean, as far as things we've seen, I mean, I really like, like the premise, though. I like the premise a lot. I, I didn't the love vigilante, it. Or the vigilante, and I like the premise. I just, the execution wasn't 100%, I guess, but, and I do, I do agree. It was, it was excruci excruciatingly long, but. And excruciating slow for, I mean, there's not, a, there was just not enough action scenes. Yeah. I mean, the scenes we got. Half of the good fight scenes wasn't even the superhero. It was the fucking sensei guy. He was the majority of the good scenes. We mm -hmm. barely even got to see him. But yeah, I just, I feel like if you're going to do a superhero film or even a vigilante film, you have to do, you got to have some action in there. I think the film that this kind of relates to is uh, Kick-Ass. I think Kick-Ass did a much better job of showing just the, the very average mundane fucking kid becoming a superhero because they it's it's again it's interlaced with like you have every say 20 minutes or 30 minutes you have an action scene or whatever and then it slowly kind of builds you through the uh, origin story right you know this this yeah. didn't do that this did an hour long of an origin story of not even the main guy it turned mm -hmm. out which i like again i like that twist but it shouldn't have happened in like 20 to 30 minutes right immediately because after an hour you're like really invested in that character mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then because again it took him another hour after that mm -hmm. to get you back invested into um cq cq yeah so but when you have three hours they're like, fuck. We got to burn up some of this time. <laughs> we got a lot of time. So, yeah, not not my favorite of our uh, Indian films that we have done. I kind of understand why it didn't get the, the greatest reviews. Yeah. But uh, I just think it could have been it could have been a lot better had it been uh, an hour 40. Right. Not two now, hours 40. Let me ask you this. Is this a, which I know would never happen because the budget or the box office was uh, atrocious, but... Now that we had the very long uh, origin story completed, would you like to see a sequel of this? Well, what's funny about this movie, spoiler alert, is um, nothing really gets solved in it. I mean, they, they kind of hint at the very end that they're going to take these guys to court or whatever, mm -hmm. but the guys end up blowing up all the fucking... All the water, <laughs> yeah. So he doesn't really do anything <laughs> is the thing. Right. And the big thing is at the very end, they did what I said about earlier is they just brought evidence forward, mm -hmm. And that was the thing that ended up saving him. But uh, yeah, they really didn't. Uh, Cause though the city's still, no matter what, I mean, yeah, they got the bad guys, but now the city that already probably doesn't have that much money. Now they have to rebuild, <laughs> <all> <laughs> Re rebuild the uh, water pipes. It's going to cost stuff, them yeah. millions. It will maybe be billions even. Maybe. They blew up, then they blow up every single... 
That's going to be a lot of rupee. Yeah, we might be getting into the crore area. Yeah. Oh, it's going to dip crore yeah. for sure. So I think if we get a second uh, one, it's just going to be about the, rebuilding. the bureaucracy of them rebuilding <laughs> this devastatingly uh, tragic event that happened. Because, yeah. I mean, a lot of people are probably going to die. Probably. From water. I mean, from not having water, right? Because the only guys that had water were the fucking villains. So <laughs> and all those trucks. Yeah, yeah and all where those did trucks. they go? So I don't know. I don't really un- I don't really know what a sequel would uh, would be about because yeah. I would even bring the water guy back. But the water mafia, the that's water what they mafia, called him. Yeah, in they a, did, actually. But, but I guess he did survive, right? Because there was a mid-credit scene that I didn't watch. I didn't see it either. <laughs> but I guess the mid-credit Because at this point, I was is, running two hours 50. Yeah. Siku is uh, seen telling a driver to reverse a car from a no-entry road. What? The, what? That doesn't even, yeah, that's it. I don't even understand. No idea. I think what they does literally that even just mean? threw in an extra scene because they saw Marvel do it. <laughs> and they were like... <laughs> People like it. Well, they should have no context whatsoever to this. Rarely, I sh- they should have taken a few more notes besides the in credit <laughs> yeah. scene from Marvel. Because one thing you can say about Marvel movies, they're all like, but they all have fantastic stories. pacing. The yeah. fantastic and story, stories. And too. fantastic pacing, though. Mm. Those films are so fucking quick and uh, just so tight. This film is, I would not uh, define as tight. No, probably not. No. It's very, very <laughs> loose. <Yeah. laughs> but. Uh, yeah, I mean, those, yeah, if you want to do, I mean, you know, but they've kind of, they perfected at this point, mm-hmm. you know, and you don't want to compare every superhero film to a Marvel film. But when you do perfect a formula, you got to look at that and go, okay, well, maybe we can take something from this. Exactly. And every film that has kind of succeeded after that has taken notes from Marvel. Yep. The only DC films that are success, successful are the DC films that have followed in Marvel's mm-hmm. footsteps. So Absolutely. Well, I'm not saying you can't followed in their footsteps and also taking directors from yeah. said Marvel franchises <laughs> and using them as your own and writers <laughs> yeah, and, and producers and writers, yeah. and, uh, and pretty much everything. DPs, yeah. everyone. <laughs> exactly. So uh, there is some notes you can take. I'm not saying you can't do a superhero film in a right. completely different way. Again, I think Kick Ass did that. Mm-hmm. I think there's there's these indie superhero films that did that. Another one is like Chronicle about the kids that get superpowers. So there's different ways to do it. But I just don't think that they nailed this one with the execution. Yeah. But uh, yeah, anything else on it? No, nope, I think that does it. It is free on Netflix. It is free on Netflix. I did enjoy that. I didn't have yeah. to rent it. Pay for it, yeah. yeah. All righty, well, that is our review for Bavesh, Joshi Superhero. If you guys like what you've seen here, please be sure to like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. If you want to find our podcast in audio format, you can find that on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. We do movie reviews, TV recaps, Foreign Film Fridays. Uh, you guys know the deal. You guys want to get some Have You Seen It merch, you can find that link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and listening. My name is Mason Knight. That is Cash Krause, and until next time. Bye.